skill set here with another video on Terraform and Amazon uh, S3. Uh, and I'm going to attempt to deploy a static web page on a Amazon S3 bucket. Uh, for those of you who don't know what S3 is, it's a uh, it's an object storage service provided to us by Amazon, and we're able to create separate buckets within this service and host our um, web pages within it. So, without further ado, I'll show you uh, kind of my uh, directory structure to begin with, because uh, in my last video I kind of put everything with regards to my Terraform resources as well as runtime. Um, Terraform variables all in one file, but um, the way you would kind of set it up in uh, production, uh, if you ever get to do that, is um, as you can see, my my project code is currently in this uh, top level directory called Terraform S3 website, and if I issue the tree command here, I would see that I've kind of divided up my modules uh, into a separate. A folder so and a, a separate directory so every time I build a new module I would create a new directory and put my uh, module related files in there so and then I could go into this live directory uh, that's where my actual deployments happen from and actually create a separate uh, directory yet again and start using these modules uh, from within this live directory so that the whole the way we set it up here allows us to kind of reuse these uh, S3 website module multiple times inside this live directory. I'll show you that a bit later, but um, so let's dive a bit into the, the actual code uh, in the module. Um, so with regards to what we have, um, in my editor here. So first things first, we'll look at the, the main file, the main.tf file. It's pretty simple. What I'm doing is I'm creating uh, uh, S3 bucket um, using the Amazon S3 service and then um, converting that bucket into a, uh, a website and uh, defining that I would have an index like a starting point for that uh, web page and that uh, that will point to my index.html and any error errors would uh, point to uh, HTTP errors would then load this error.html file um, if that happens and so I have that um, S3 bucket created as well as I have uh, two uh, resources or objects within this bucket uh, just to get things going and that's just an index.html file and an error.html file and this is how you would do it and I'm obviously sourcing it from my local directory as well so if you can see on the left here I should oh wait um, yeah so in, in my in my actual live code directory where I, which is the live runtime environment, I have a HTML folder um, and that's where I have all my uh, index.html and error.html web pages stored. I've got a couple samples um, right there. Um, so so once you first have your module ready like this, the way I've done it. Um, what you need to do is create another directory uh, within your live directory uh, that's going to be the use that's going to start using these modules and also define a main.tf file and as you can see uh, oh in my previous main.tf file there's one variable that we ask for uh, which is uh, a unique bucket name because uh, if you want to keep on building more and more buckets with more and uh, more web pages inside them we need to have unique names for each of them. So this is the only variable that I am passing in at this point. Uh, so if in my live code main.tf, I definitely have to define a name variable, uh, the same as same as this variable here, and make sure I give it a value. So in this case, I've given it skillset S3 website, and and that's that's going to allow me to actually source this module, uh, which is two levels of directories above as you can see and I call out that S3 website module just like so um, and one other thing in my runtime uh, Terraform code I uh, define an output which is I use the same module uh, that I've defined here I mean the, the, the one that I've sourced up here and then I just get the output of the website endpoint URL and this is how you would uh, kind of call that 
So uh, now that that's done and we kind of have an understanding of how we need to structure our code, um, I think this gives us a better idea uh, in terms of where you put your modules as well as where you put your runtime uh, environment um, uh, Terraform code. This is how you would do it. So let's go ahead and actually deploy this thing. Uh, so first things first, as you know, always start off with a Terraform init. And to have, oh, I'm in the wrong directory. There you go. So get inside the live directory. Um, go inside the Skillset S3 website directory. And now that I have access to my main.tf file here, yeah, it's the same file I just showed you before. Uh, make sure you run a Terraform init. And obviously from my previous video, uh, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's on my channel. It's um, it's going to go ahead and tell you about how you can get up to this stage where you can run Terraform in it with regards to like AWS credentials and all the things you need. Um, so once that's run successfully, um, you run a Terraform plan to see um, kind of a dry run of what we are about to deploy uh, with regards to this static S3 website and it's going to take a bit of time but um, it's going to tell us that, uh, quite simply it's going to deploy an S3 bucket along with uh, two objects which are the two files the index.html and the error.html and once that plan had run successfully we are able to run the Terraform apply. Uh, before I run this I should just make sure I log into my, well, I've logged in already here, uh, to my AWS account and just check that there's nothing actually there in the same name with regards to the bucket that I'm going to create. So there's no buckets here, as you can see, so we're safe to go ahead and uh, hit the apply. And that's what I've done. So this should take about, oh, hopefully, 20 seconds or so. Oh, it's going to ask me again. Uh, you can pass a flag to you know, automatically approve these changes, but here it's going to ask you a question and just answer yes, as always. Uh, it should, within the next uh, 20 seconds or so, go ahead and create the S3 bucket and create the, the two files and inside that S3 bucket so that we can have a fully functional website. So <coughs> it's okay. There you go. It's done creating the website. So if you go over to the actual console, uh, the web console, and reload it, you'd see there's a S3, a Skillset S3 website bucket created, uh, and inside of which we should um, be able to see just two objects, which are the two files, um, the index and the error.html. So great, um, and all the all the permissions are set up as um, we needed to because we need to be a public accessible um, web page, so and it's done as so. Um, now, then the last thing to see is to see if um, it all works well. So remember, I did define output in my uh, in my code earlier. So that's the actual endpoint URL. Should be able to copy that and go across to a a new tab and load it up and there we go um, so it works perfectly now as I said before um, if you wanted to actually uh, create another another um, uh, static website it's going to be quite simple because now that you have a working module um, which you define here all, all we need to do is actually if I am doing this right, is to copy across um, the contents or create a new directory uh, and copy what's inside this. Uh, so currently, I'm inside the live um, the live directory right here, uh, where I've defined my first uh, runtime environment, uh, which is the Skill S3 website. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clone that. Oh, well before I yeah I'll, I'll probably clone that. Make it, makes it easier and get rid of the things that I don't want so I'm gonna call it slightly differently this time 
S3 website too because I'm just wanting to show you like how we could use the same module and uh, deploy multiple instances of the same kind of functionality of a website using this Terraform code. So, oh, great. Um, actually, let me create this website and copy what's inside. Uh, create this directory and then go into that directory and copy what's uh, inside my old um, uh, skillset S3 website directory over to this directory. Oh, great. I need to use that R. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we got all the things we need. Uh, just to do some cleanup here because I don't want the old state from my old S3 bucket coming over to this new new website so I want to just kind of delete those things uh, such as the terraform state file uh, this one I want to delete and I want to delete um, the terraform yeah the tf state backup file as well as there should be some a uh, hidden directory file as looks like there isn't uh, let me see if there is uh, there isn't because we have an actually run terraform inside here so now um, now we're inside the second instance of uh, the use case of the same module that we defined earlier, and I want to make sure um, I want to make sure that I change the name of this one because I don't want a, a conflicting name to my earlier bucket here. So I'll open up this main file and I'll call this skillset. S3 website 2, save that, as well as I'll go into the HTML just to see that things look different. I'll call this web page 2, so that's slightly different from the earlier one, so that we can see both together. Um, so those changes are done, uh, which means we should be able to deploy this one as well. So again, um, we're inside the second instance of this S3 website that we're going to create and we're going to create a second website pretty much and run the similar commands I probably don't need an init I'll run a Terraform plan oh yeah I do need an init so let's run an init and then I would run a Terraform plan. While that's running, I'll just show you again that we're using in the second website, we're using the same, we're sourcing the same um, S3 website module. So this is, yeah, this is the way you should set up your code if you want to use it in production, have uh, multiple different instances using the same module. Okay, the plan ran successfully, so I'm going to run uh, apply now. And you should see, go back to the console, go to the S3 console here. Uh, you should see a second bucket start to appear. If Oh yeah, I need to give it the yes to this prompt. This question they ask you when you're about to deploy. Yep, it's creating. Uh, give it a few seconds here. Um, so, as you remember, I gave it a separate name. Ah, oh, there we go. I've created the second S3 bucket, similar to the first one. And I've got the two files that I need uh, in order for this to become a website. And if I go back here and get the endpoint URL, um, my earlier one is still running. It's called Amazon S3 web page by Skillset. Now I'm going to load my second instance of the same module use. And there we go. It's called web page 2. And side by side they look similar, but obviously it's a different website because I put in some changes here to reflect that it is a different website. And yeah, and that's how you would um, kind of set up your code in a way in a directory structure that works so that you can 
use the same module more than once uh, in two different instances uh, using to create two different websites as you can see here um, so that was uh, it that's a simple tutorial on how you can create a static website and also use Terraform modules uh, multiple times um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll bring you another video um, on Terraform soon uh, so please subscribe and like and share uh, this video and we'll see you again soon. Bye.